lead others to Jesus Christ. Isn't that true? I've got a message directly from the heart of God. I thought, Lord, are you sure about this message? We're in a park and we're in front of people that might not know you. We're in front of people that might not go to church, might not be church. But he said, you preach it. You tell them. You say it. And then I had a confirmation from somebody that I talked to a little bit ago. They need this direct message. My stand here is maybe not the best representation of it. Can you hand me one of those drum stands with the thick, tall legs? No, the big, the silver one? It, if you could have a clip it or something. There's three legs to this stool. We're going to pretend like this is a stool, okay? Everybody see this? It has three legs to it, right? And let's just pretend this is a stool seat. If this three-legged stool had two legs, if one was missing, could it stand? What would happen? It would fall. Remember your words. Remember you said it would fall. Remember those words. I'm not setting you up for failure here. I'm just trying to make a point. If one of these legs was shorter than the other, what would happen? It would lean. It wouldn't be balanced. That three-legged stool is what God showed me is our problem in Christianity. The three legs to our stool as Christians are prayer, Bible, and church. But you may say, James, well, can you just do those three legs and make it? No. But those three legs are very important. Those three legs are what is wrong with America. That we're not spending time with the Lord in prayer. That we're not studying the Word of God. That we're not spending time. We've fallen out of church. We've lost our calling. Many people have just lost these things. And can you imagine if you had one of these legs or two of these legs and not the third? You're going to fall. But I don't want to talk to you about those three legs as much as I want to talk to you about the solid rock of Christ that those three legs are resting upon. Those three legs don't do anything for you unless you know Him. Unless you have eternal life in Christ Jesus. Unless you've built your house not on the sand, but on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that that's like a man who's built his house on sand. That when the storms of life come, it washes away the foundation. There's nothing there. The rain came down, the streams arose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. I'm here to tell you today, every person in this park, if your foundations of your life have not been laid on Jesus Christ, it's a faulty foundation. It's a flawed foundation. Look, this world, this ship of mankind, this world's going down. This ship is going down. And the only lifeboat that can save is the rock of Jesus Christ. The lifeboat of Christ can hold us all. There's no maximum capacity. But the hull, the hull of that lifeboat is framed on the cross beams of Christ Himself. Amen. 